On this week's boiler tip, I want to talk about e-stops. There's three main things about e-stops. Number one, you really should have an e-stop because being able to shut down a boiler from the boiler panel or from a boiler room entrance could be a huge difference if you've got a problem going on because you don't always want to get closer to the problem. We want to end the crisis. The second thing about e-stops is we should know where they are because in many facilities you may have an e-stop at multiple doors of a boiler room and that's because we, if we come in and there's a problem we want to be able to shut it down. If we don't know where they are however there's been many an instance where an e-stop's been bumped it's not on the prints and several hours and downtime occur because somebody's looking for a trip to e-stop. And the last thing is, what does your e-stop do? Uh, a properly wired e-stop should completely kill power to the boiler panel because what that's going to do is immediately shut down the flame. We've killed power to the flame safeguard, but also it's killing power to the fan. So when we shut that blower off instantly, um, that helps us address a situation where maybe we've got combustion issue where we're running rich, heaving smoke, etc. I really don't want to shut the boiler down and goose it with 15 seconds of post purge air um, when I'm in that situation. So if the e-stop kills the fan as well, we're going to ensure a lot faster and safer shutdown.